further debate, we recognize the member for as well. Thank you, Speaker. I rise today to participate in third reading debate on Bill 28. Speaker, I want to make it clear to the members opposite, the people watching today, that this is a dark day in Ontario's history. The magnitude of what we are debating today cannot be overstated. We are literally debating whether the government is going to violate the charter rights of people in this province. So think about that, Speaker. Think about that for a moment. We are literally debating whether the government is going to take away the charter rights of the lowest paid education workers in this province. And so I ask, I ask the members opposite and I ask the people of this province, if the government is going to take away the charter rights of education workers who play such a vital role in caring for our students and supporting them, like whose rights are next? Whose rights are next, Speaker? Whose rights are they going to take away next? Everybody, everybody in this province should be worried and concerned about what hammer is going to come down next, whether this government respects the charter or not. Every worker in this province, public, private sector, should be worried that their charter rights to bargain a fair wage, to bargain for benefits, to bargain for a decent life can be taken away with a stroke of a pen and the fast tracking of a bill. It is, it is, I agree with the member, it is. And so I wanna say what was disgraceful was earlier today, when we had the second reading um, vote on Bill 28, that the members actually clapped and cheered and patted themselves on the back for literally taking charter rights away from workers, from the people of this province. That's what was shameful and disgusting today, Speaker. So let's be clear. Let's be clear what Bill 28 is. It's a bully bill. It's not a bill about keeping students uh, in school. It's a bill about sticking it to the lowest paid education workers in this province. And let's be clear, students will pay the price for this government's failure to negotiate a fair deal for the people who care for our children, the people who keep our schools open, who keep them safe and clean, the people who toilet the children who are most in need. The people who get our kids to school and provide the supports that children with special needs need. And to think that this government is going to take away their constitutional rights without negotiating a contract that even gives them a living wage. A wage that doesn't force them to take a second job or go to a food bank to feed their families. So I want to speak directly to parents and students. Speaker. I want children in school. Education workers want children in school. And the best way for children to be in school, in safe, clean, well taken care of schools, is for this government to do its job and actually sit down and negotiate a fair deal with the lowest paid education workers in this province. Speaker, if the government cared about students, they would care about the people who care about students, who care for students. So we've seen this, we've seen this play before. Right now our hospital systems are collapsing because of wage restraints. We can't allow the government to do it to our education system. And so that's why I asked the members opposite. Today you have an opportunity to do the right thing, to stand up for people's rights in the Charter, to stand up for their constitutional right to bargain a fair deal and vote against Bill 28. Further debate? 
I recognize the member from Sudbury. Thank you, Speaker.